An occupied factory in Vijasagala, a poverty-stricken quarter on the outskirts of Buenos Aires. José Miguel Celarajan lives with his wife Monica and a severely disabled grandson in a dwelling made of bricks and corrugated sheet metal. He can't read, he can't write. He used to collect cardboard on his pushcart and sell it. These days he lives on a minimum of welfare because he's no longer able to work. The 64-year-old suffers from arthritis, high blood pressure and diabetes. And que en cualquier momento, si no tenés los remedios, no, no sos nada y te, va, te vas a morir en cualquier momento, porque esto es un, una enfermedad fea que no sabes que, si mañana vas a estar vivo o no. What appears to be calm and peaceful during brief visits in the morning is a dangerous area to live in. The people in the slums of Buenos Aires live cramped and crowded together in risky structures. They hook up to the power grid illegally, which leads to short circuits, fires and fatal accidents. Grates and metal plates in front of windows and doors make sense. Drug-related crime and shootouts are a part of everyday life. Like José Miguel, many slum residents live hand-to-mouth and don't have any health insurance. A disaster, especially in the case of a chronic illness. Although the public health system in Argentina is free of charge, it doesn't provide any sufficient supply of medication. And particularly in poverty-stricken areas, many people suffer from diabetes, high blood pressure, high levels of cholesterol and obesity. We have here in the slum, in the Elendsviertel um das Gesundheitszentrum herum, eine Bevölkerung, die aus dem Inland gekommen ist, aus den Provinzen von Argentinien, auf der Suche nach Arbeit in die Stadt kam und dabei ihre Lebensgewohnheiten sehr stark verändert hat. Auf dem Land habe ich körperlich gearbeitet und ich musste auch zum Nachbarn ein Stück Weg laufen. In der Stadt ist alles sehr dicht beieinander und die Menschen ernähren sich völlig anders. Es gibt preiswerte Lebensmittel, die leider zu viel Zucker und zu viel Fett enthalten. Wenig Bewegung, zu viel Essen. Es sind Menschen, die Hunger gehabt haben, die schlechte Zeiten erlebt haben, die sich jetzt freuen, dass sie genügend zu essen haben, aber das falsche Essen. Under the direction of Dr. Karina Vitier Mala, a German Argentinian pharmacist, the relief organization Pharmacists Without Borders Germany has brought a project to life in Vijasagala for the chronically ill suffering from non-communicable diseases. For patients with high blood pressure, blood sugar, blood fats, or who are highly overweight. It ensures their access to medical and pharmaceutical treatment and prevention. The project has been docked at the Municipal Health Center number 16, whose catchment area includes an estimated 25,000 people. For 50 years now, the slum residents have been examined by doctors and nurses here and had their medication adjusted, but the local pharmaceutical dispensary is only able to provide a fraction of the medication for the chronically ill. In 2008, Pharmacists Without Borders Germany concluded a contract with the city and installed a small pharmacy at the health center. At the windows, patients receive all the medical products that are missing for treatment, guaranteed and for free, including good explanations what to do. Uns ist es wichtig, dass Arzneimittel mit Fachwissen abgegeben können. Also ich bin die zweibeinige Packungsbeilage sozusagen. Many patients are not able to read well. Weekly doses for tablets, along with particularly clear explanations, are supposed to help maintain the therapy. The team around Karina Vetier works closely together with local partners. Dr. Claudia Dreyer is the local representative from Pharmacists Without Borders Germany. Dr. Bibiana Pignolino is the director of the health center. Con la cooperación con Farmacéuticos Sin Fronteras alcanzamos al 100% de los pacientes que están bajo programa. Eso quiere decir que el paciente una vez que sale de su atención médica se va con toda la medicación necesaria para que todos sus controles, de, 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 el control metabólico digamos, y clínico de todas sus enfermedades digamos, esté cubierto. Sí, eh, o sea que la diferencia es muy grande porque de un 10-20% a un 100% digamos, estamos cubriendo a todo el mundo que necesite digamos, la medicación. The program focuses on a group of patients that is often not taken sufficiently into account. People around 60, grandparents who are extremely important for the social framework 
because the parents have to work. Vielleicht ist nur eine Mutter da, vielleicht Vater und Mutter. Die Kinder sind, wenn die Großeltern nicht zu Hause sind, sich selbst überlassen. Es ist nicht gut, dass sie allein im Haus sind. Es ist nicht gut, dass sie allein im Slum sind. Es gibt viele Programme, die auf Kinder eingehen, wo man sagt, wir wollen etwas für Kinder machen. Ich mache etwas für Kinder, wenn ich auf die Großeltern aufpasse. Die Großeltern sind gerade hier besonders wichtig. Natividad Batista has been picking up her medication regularly since 2008. 69 years old, she has 13 grandchildren and seven great-grandchildren. All of the children are or were with her regularly. 13-year-old Matteo currently spends a lot of time at his granny's subsidized flat. If it weren't for Natividad, the children wouldn't go to school. If it weren't for the medication from Pharmacists Without Borders, Natividad would no longer be alive. Tengo chaga. Soy diabética, soy hipertensa, estoy operada del corazón. Eh, necesito los remedios para, para sobreviviendo. Y mientras que hay en la salita, me los dan. The team around Karina Vetier increasingly banks on prevention. They explain the long-term consequences of extremely high sugar consumption, for example at kindergartens, schools, soup kitchens and the waiting room of the health center. In addition to patients, the project equally has an eye on passing on experience. Native healthcare staff is trained, data are compiled and passed on to local officials in charge of health. The step-by-step -step handing over of the program for the chronically ill to local partners is scheduled as of 2020. Applications for digitalization are being processed and the government is working on making additional funds available to the health centers. Pharmacists Without Borders Germany and Carina Vitier want to use the award money to stabilize the project for the next three to five years. Doctors and medication are supposed to be paid with it, so that all of the patients up till now and new ones can continue to be treated extensively, to safeguard their quality of life and to increase their life expectancy.